Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we are going to be going over a few things concerning the summer sale and kind of the imminent future of my channel for the time being. Alright guys, let's get it right into it. So one thing you probably realize is that I don't have an intro on this video and I'm also not going to have an outro. That's because I'm using a different computer to edit this video because obviously mine is bricked right now as you can see by the image up on screen right now. Also, I'm using a new editing software. I usually use Sony Vegas Pro, but right now I'm using Premiere Pro. So that's a lot different than what I'm used to because one's owned by Adobe and one's owned by Sony, obviously. So two different manufacturers are obviously going to build their frameworks a lot differently, which means that my editing style and a lot of the edits that I make on this video are going to be different as well. Also, I don't know how many edits I'm going to be making on this computer. I don't know how many uploads I'm going to be having from this computer as well because this is somebody else's computer and I can't use it all the time. So we'll have to see as the future comes to us. If you guys want to stay updated with news though, go ahead and check out my Discord. I'll have it the link in the description below as always. And also I do have a Twitter account that will also have a link in the description below which you can also use to stay up to date with the progress of my computer's repair. Obviously, once my computer is finally repaired, then I will be able to go back to regular uploads like I usually do. For now, I don't know how my upload schedule is going to look. It probably be about every three days, roughly, something like that. And uh, we'll kind of just see. So on to the content of this video for, you know, the summer sale. What exactly did you guys invest in so far? Because it hasn't really had a lot of drops, not as many as were anticipated. Last summer sale, obviously, a lot more skins actually dropped in price. But this summer sale, a lot less skins dropped in price. Only a few specific ones like the Op Atheris, the Desert Eagle Light Rail, the AK Cartel Minimal Wear, and a few other random ones actually did end up dropping. And some other sort of mid-tier higher skins that had good stickers on them also dropped in price. As if you watch the Discord server, you'll know that the USPS Orion is now mine and it has a lot of high tier stickers on it. Also, my Discord server is actually looking at a lot of new investments that are happening all throughout the summer sale, and they're updating people on what skins are actually dropping. Everybody's kind of collectively working to help each other figure out what skins are the best investments. So make sure you are joining the Discord server, and you guys will be able to get all of that inf investment information as well. So we're about a week into the summer sale, and so far, with a very limited amount of skins actually dropping in price, what does the actual profit margin look like going into the long term? Well, I do think that you can still make a lot of profit right currently right now. A lot of the skins like the AK Cartel and the other skins that I mentioned before are actually dropping in price by a good margin, a couple dollars, and you can definitely make a little bit of profit on that if you buy enough of them. Obviously, you just have to buy more of the skins if you want to make more profit overall. So that's all you kind of have to do, and that will make you rich in a few years. Now, obviously, I'm just kidding, guys. It's not going to take years for these investments to actually pay off. It's probably only going to take a few months for these skins to recover back to their original prices since they didn't drop that much during the summer sale. So obviously, the recovery process is a lot shorter, and that's kind of a benefit overall. Even though you're not making as much money per skin as you could potentially be making, the skins will recover faster, which means that you don't have to wait as long to actually gain that small amount of profit that you will be gaining from this. So take the Op Atheris, for example, that skin was about $8 prior to the summer sale starting, and now it's about at the $5.50 range, which is a pretty good price to buy in at. You can make about $3 on that, obviously, without Steam uh, tax actually factored in. Also, the AK-47 Cartel started at around $6 before the summer sale, and it dropped to around $4.90 currently, so that's another $2 or so that you could make on that profit margin. These skins are currently at this price as well, which means that they are good options for you to buy into at the current moment. Oddly enough, the big skin that dropped a lot during the last summer sale and made a lot of people money the last summer sale, which was the AK-47 Redline, is actually at a pretty constant price and hasn't dropped very much at all during the summer sale, still maintaining about a $10.81 price range, which is, I mean, kind of interesting to be honest, but I do have a theory for why that actually ended up happening. The big thing to consider when it comes to the AK-47 Redline is it's part of the Phoenix case, and recently the Phoenix case actually saw quite a large jump in price uh, in between the last summer sale and this current one. And that's because the Phoenix case stopped dropping, obviously, and it was less available and became more rare over time. Which means the skins in it are also going to become more rare, just because the case is more rare alone. So that means that the AK-47 Redline is in shorter supply and isn't being, you know, traded as much anymore. People are kind of trying to start to hold on to them, just because the case itself is, you know, being held on to as well in terms of an investment. So that being said, obviously the AK-47 Redline is not going to be traded as much, which can affect how low it's actually going to go during the summer sale itself. 
And also, it did already hit the weekend. The weekend was actually kind of the time that I thought a lot of skins were going to end up dropping if they hadn't already for the summer sale. And we have seen quite a lot of skins go lower and lower in price, but we haven't seen anything major this weekend and nothing like I was expecting. So I can kind of verifiably say that the summer sale was kind of a dud. And I think one of the other major reasons for that is because there weren't a lot of really good games on sale. Like for example, a lot of people were looking forward to having Nier Automata on sale, and that actually didn't go on sale at all. So we kind of just had a lot of basics games go on sale, like Grand Theft Auto, Left 4 Dead, a lot of Valve sponsored games and a lot of games that, you know, usually go on sale during the summer sale anyway, that, you know, aren't actually that good of deals overall. So I don't think a lot of people actually ended up investing into the summer sale, which obviously affected how many skins were being sold. And so a lot of people kind of skipped this one, and that kind of ended up making the summer sale sort of a dud. Obviously though, in terms of skin investing, it is still possible to make profit, and you can still do that currently if you go and check the Steam Marketplace. A lot of the skins that I mentioned in this video already are still dropping in price, so if you want to pick one of those up, go ahead. Also, I know that a lot of higher tier skins and a lot of knives actually did go down just a slight bit in price, which means that those are also options for you to get at a slightly lower price than you'd usually be able to get them right now as well. So if you're looking to get any kind of new play skins or something like that, then I think this is a good time to go for that. Obviously guys, it's now or never, and there's not going to be another kind of sale like this that drops skin prices as low anytime in the future, unless Valve does something crazy. So obviously the next thing that we have looked, we have to look forward to in terms of new investments is the case that is going to be decided around September of this year. So that means that there are going to be quite a lot of videos coming out when that case comes around, and uh, there's going to be some uploads consistently up until that point as well. And uh, for now, the summer sales kind of just ended up not being as great as a lot of people did expect it to be. But who knows, maybe something crazy will happen near this end of the summer sale and people will end up, you know, spending a lot more on keys and skins and skin prices may go down. Who knows? Also, as you guys may have noticed, I did get a new knife. If you look on the gameplay, you can see that there is an M9 bayonet in my inventory now. It is a phase 2 Doppler. It's sort of a pink galaxy. It has a lot more pink on it than a lot of the M9 bayonet Dopplers do. It's not quite a pink galaxy, obviously, but it is pretty hard to get one of those on an M9 bayonet in the first place. Uh, it's also less than a uh, 0.04 float, which means it's a pretty good float on the bayonet as well. So I think it looks pretty nice, and uh, that actually leads into the next thing that I want to talk about, which is the next secret giveaway for this channel. So I actually announced this in my Discord server already and uh, a lot of people have already entered it and basically what you need to do is you need to comment down below or join the Discord and PM me and tell me basically what you think my inventory theme is going to be in the future. I gave one hint out and a lot of people were able to get it off this hint so maybe you will too. The hint is CD Project Red. So that is going to be what my inventory theme is going to be. It's not, not obviously themed around CD Projekt Red as the company, but themed around something that CD Projekt Red is involved with. So if you guys know what that is, and you can see based on my knife and my inventory, what the new theme for my inventory is going to be as it goes forward, then let me know. And uh, I will have a full loadout video once my inventory is uh, fully created. Also a lot of videos leading up to that concerning like trade-ups for certain skins in the loadout and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, obviously be sure to subscribe to my channel and keep updated with that so you can see all those new uploads when they go live. And also some news concerning my computer. So basically my computer is going to be uh, getting fixed around Monday of upcoming next week. So about two days from now, uh, we're going to go see how much it's going to cost and stuff like that. And we're going to see if my computer is going to be fully fixed by then. There's also a guaranteed repair place. So that means that the uh, computer will be fully fixed or if it isn't able to be fixed, then I'll just get a new computer all together uh, out of that deal. And it's going to be, you know, fairly cheap. I think we're going to get a nice deal on it. So that will, uh, that's kind of what's happening with my computer right now, and that's kind of what's going to determine how quickly I'm going to be able to make videos on that again. Obviously, uh, I'm just not, you know, used to Premiere, and I'm not used to editing on Premiere, so this is probably going to be lower quality than I usually make, but I'm going to try my best, and I'm going to try my best to learn Premiere uh, before I get my computer back, and once it's back, we'll be able to go back to consistent, regular uploads, and that'll be pretty nice. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much for keeping updated with me in the Discord and stuff like that. Again, if you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description below. Also, my Twitter account is in the description below if you want to stay updated on stuff like that. So be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe for future content. I will be trying to do as consistent uploads as I possibly can going forward. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.